Hey everyone, it's Eric Thor here and today we are talking about why INFPs are both the most proud and also the most shameful personality types. Yeah, a lot of INFPs carry a lot of pride. The more assertive you are as an INFP, the more pride you tend to experience. INFPs at their best, they are true idealists and individualists. You speak out for what is right. You follow your own moral compass. You are an individualist that makes their own decisions for themselves. You do what you feel is right in all situations. As an INFP at your best, you are resistant to peer pressure. You can't be bullied into making decisions you don't want to make. You can't be forced or controlled or manipulated into doing something you don't want. INFPs at their best follow their moral compass. INFPs at their worst feel ashamed of who they are, struggle to speak out for themselves, feel a sense of guilt for not being enough. Yeah, INFPs, you can be both of these things. INFPs at their best definitely have the qualities of brave individualists. INFPs at their worst definitely have the qualities of uh, peer pressure, people that struggle to open up and share and talk about who they are and what they want. Yeah, when INFPs are low, when they feel shame, when they feel lack of energy, when they feel a sense of hopelessness or stress, they can become very, very quiet. They can find themselves struggling to open up to people, even friends and family members. You feel misunderstood. You feel like you can't be yourself. You feel like you can't be who you are. So as an INFP, that's a difficult state to be in. What can you do if you can't express yourself? What can you do if you don't have the energy or the power to be yourself or to speak out for yourself? What can you do to fight off the lows? What I see a lot of INFPs try to do is escape the lows altogether. Never think about or question yourself. Never doubt yourself. Shut off those thoughts. Never ever consider or question anything you do. Never worry. Never doubt yourself. You know, just stay true to yourself. Just follow your inner moral compass at all times. However, when you do this, it can also be that you're running away from these thoughts. So you find that they're still in the back of your head, you know, you're still, you're, you're doing these things and you're trying to shut it off, but you still feel these thoughts come at you with an ever increasing intensity. Yeah, it can be like at some point it's so much, there is so much doubt, there is so much insecurity that you just shut off from the world entirely. Yeah, a lot of INFPs, they go on hiatus, they go on an escapist sense where they kind of cut themselves off from friends and family members, disconnect from social media, go off the grid, you know, and they just escape for themselves, they just run away, you know, because they can't face or be themselves. The more, the stronger the shame, the stronger the guilt, the stronger the intensity of, you know, I'm not good enough, I'm not worthy, I don't fit in, I don't belong anywhere, you know, the stronger the desire to just run away from everything. And so many INFPs, they go through these lows where they detach from everything and then afterwards they go to these extremes where they push themselves to be super present and to be super out there and super open and super expressive. So how can you deal with that? How can you deal with an INFP that is so on and off? I think as a friend or family member it can be hard to understand why these types so often disappear. Why do they block me on Facebook all the time? Why do they constantly go away? Why do they not communicate to me? Why do they uh, go from being uh, so open and friendly and so easy to be around to suddenly being so aloof, so distant, so disconnected? How can I deal with a person that is ghosting me or disappearing from me, you know, if that's what they're doing? I'm not saying that all INFPs ghost, but I'm saying that it can be a tendency for some INFPs. Beyond that, other INFPs have this uh, tendency or weariness of putting themselves in situations which will shake them uh, or shake their trust in themselves or shake their confidence. Many INFPs will struggle to enter into relationships or intimate situations with other people, fearing to open up with other people. Because what if you dare to open up to other people? What if you dare open up about yourself? What if you dare to create the lifestyle you dream always dreamt of? I mean, whenever you do open up, whenever you do share of yourself, 
you know, it can feel great in the moment, but you can know that there is always a consequence. There's always a drop. There's always a doubt at the end. <laughs> even if you felt good sharing to that person in the moment, even if it felt great to be yourself around another person, when you're gone, when you're alone, when in a, later on in the conversation, you can find yourself, you know, questioning everything. Like, should I really have said that? What if they think that's weird? Uh, if they probably think I'm stupid or silly or whatever, they probably don't even like me to begin with, you know? Many INFPs get into this self-questioning spiral where it's like, oh, whatever it is, that person might have been smiling at me, they might have been super nice, they might have given me compliments, but what if they don't, didn't really mean any of that? What if that was all fake? What if they didn't, nothing of that was real? Or what if they don't see the real me? What if they misunderstood? What if they thought that they liked me, but they will realize later on that they won't like me at all, actually. Actually, they don't like me at all. They, how could they possibly like me, you know? <laughs> so, um, as an INFP, it can be difficult to deal with this. What can you do to escape the cycle of shame or self-questioning or self-doubt? What I want to say is, don't even try to escape it, you know? Uh, that might sound dark and I don't I promise I don't mean it like that what I mean is it's okay to doubt yourself it's okay to be insecure it's okay to worry about what other people think about you it's okay to have social anxiety yes you can find yourself questioning your worth and value but that's fine I don't think you want to run away from shame or from negative emotions because negative emotions are there, just like positive. They're all information, you know. Buddhists, they tend to say that uh, life is suffering and I like to say that life is suffering and joy. So just like that, life is shame, <laughs> but also life is pride, you know. Uh, and so what you want to focus on is rather what kind of a person do you want to be no matter how you feel about yourself. Fine, you do doubt yourself, but even if you do doubt yourself, what kind of a person do you want to be? What kind of character do you want to give off? What kind of personality or vibe do you want to represent to the world? No matter how you're feeling, no matter what you're struggling with on the inside, what are your core values? What is your truth? Who are you? I think what you want to do is you want to learn to know that it's okay you know, to be vulnerable and to share doubts about yourself and to say that, yeah, I, I sometimes I doubt if people really like me or sometimes it's hard for me to know what's real or not or if people really mean what they say. You know, you can, you can talk about those things. Other people feel the same way. Other people struggle with that as well. You're not alone in those feelings, you know, and uh, you can talk about those things and you can put them out there. Just let them be there, you know, that's okay. You can share about those things. Beyond that, even if you do feel that doubt, you can come to the conclusion that, yeah, even if I do doubt myself, I still value this relationship that I have with this person or I still value the connection that I have with them. Even if I doubt if they like me and even if I struggle with my own image or my own worth, I still feel that I value this connection and I still feel like I should be present for that person and try to listen to them and try to be there for them. And I should try my best to, you know, uh, follow my moral compass in all situations. Even if I feel peer peer pressure and even if I uh, doubt if I'm right or not or whether I can speak freely or open up about what I'm thinking, I should still try to do it. Yeah, focus on the values and recognize that just by focusing on the values, that's not going to make all the problems go away. Yeah, even if you do speak out for yourself, even if you're honest, it's not always going to be great. It's not always going to feel nice. Sometimes being honest is going to feel like shit. Sometimes opening up is going to feel difficult. Sometimes being yourself is going to be hard, especially if you're around the wrong people, people that aren't like you, people that don't get you. So even if it feels that way, even if it doesn't feel nice, still try to be that way. Still try to be yourself. Still try to make yourself understood. Even if people don't get you, still try to make yourself understood and still try to be yourself. Know that, yeah, it's not always going to feel great, but it's going to feel good. It's going to feel rewarding. It's going to feel like an accomplishment. Yeah, I got through this situation. I met up with these people at work that I don't really fit in with and I don't really feel a connection with, but I was myself and I was who I was 
and I spoke out about what I felt, and I tried to be me, and I was there. And I might not have been like what they want me to be, I might not have been as uh, confident or as into sports or as uh, uh, socially <laughs> uh, charismatic as I wish I was, but I was there, and I was myself, and that was good. You know, take your time to feel and celebrate those times when you follow your values and when you stay true to your values, no matter if it's difficult or not. So that means, yeah, even though the fact that I struggle with doubt, I put myself out there. I opened up to that person or I uh, started up this new relationship or I went on that date and I went on the second date, you know. <laughs> uh, so try to do those things and try to go through those situations even when it feels difficult. And of course, what you do, let it feel difficult, you know. Uh, don't try to push those feelings away, you know. That doubt can be there. It's allowed to be there along the process. You're allowed to feel fear, shame, anxiety, whatever it is you're feeling. You're allowed to have those feelings with you. You're allowed to be socially anxious or to worry about what other people think about. And you can even talk about it with other people, people you trust. You can write a journal or process your feelings or write them down and note that, oh, when I was in this situation, I felt this feeling and that was there and that happened to me and that was difficult. And if you can, at the end, at the end of the day, uh, go back to that journal and write, yeah, I felt all those things, but I still chose to do what was right and I still chose to put myself out there. Write that down as well, you know, celebrate your accomplishments and celebrate being true to yourself. And once again, you're never ever going to reach a situation where you're always going to be happy with who you are, or you're always going to feel pride, or you're always going to feel good about yourself. So don't even try to search for such a situation. Just celebrate the times when you do. Just allow and feel good about the times when it felt great, when you felt true to yourself, when you felt valuable, when you felt like you fit in, when you felt understood. Celebrate those moments and, you know, know that uh, the low days make the good days more important than ever. The fact that you have low days make the high days greater and higher than what they would ever be otherwise. Yeah. That's my message to you, INFPs. And my question to you guys is, how do you deal with shame? How do you deal with self-doubt? What are your tips for other INFPs that struggle with their own image and self-worth? Feel free to leave your thoughts and comments down below and thank you guys for watching. See you all in the next video.